I told her that he was my uncle, and that I was looking for him. I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. I couldn't believe it. An underground village, inhabited by frog people, or more like salamanders. Either way, they walked like humans, they talked like humans. How was that possible? Hi, welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, Go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year, for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like, she didn't really mean it. Like... When you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is.
A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the castles. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it. Then go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Be safe. I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else?
Maddie. Hi, I'm glad you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know, won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around, but... I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the strays. But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop off. <clears throat> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Madeline climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. <laughs> 